Hey guys, so I was not anticipating on making this video today. I already had a video go up earlier. This is a bonus video today, but this is going to be the ultimate Fabletics guide. I'm gonna show you what all the styles that I have, what they look like on my body, my thoughts, my reactions, and talk about the brand a little bit more for those of you that don't know a lot about Fabletics. One of the reasons why I am posting this today is because I'm currently hosting a giveaway with Fabletics over on my Instagram and it ends tomorrow, which is Thursday, in like the afternoon. So I know I'm not giving you a huge heads up, it's gonna be ending really soon, but I wanted to give you all a fair chance in entering that because we're giving away $100 to Fabletics, which I'm really excited about. So Fabletics is like an athleisure wear company and it's founded by Kate Hudson, um, you know, the really pretty blonde actress that we all love from different movies. And they go from sizes extra, extra small to 3X. They have sent me quite a few outfits in the last eight months or so. So I feel like I have a pretty good collection of different pieces, different styles, and different fabrics so that I can show you guys and have you get a better idea of how they fit. They have a VIP membership and when you buy your first two pair of leggings, it only comes to $24. And then every month after that, they bill you $49.95, but you can cancel between the first and fifth of every month. So if you don't wanna pay for a month and you don't wanna get any of that month, you can totally skip it. Honestly, it's worth just trying out the two for 24 and seeing how you like them first, and then deciding if you wanna to commit to monthly to them. Um, but you should definitely sign up for the two for 24 for the leggings, cause that's such a good deal. Most of these leggings are valued around $75 or so. Here's my most consistent sizing. I always get a 1X in jackets and tops and pullover sweaters and anything that has a lot of stretch. I get a 2X in sports bras because I like more movement. And then with leggings, I always, always, always get a 2X. I have gotten joggers and sweatpants in a 2X and I think that those are too big for me. So I wanna size down to a 1X in those, but everything else is pretty consistent. I think this was my very first set with Fabletics and uh, made me really fall in love with the brand because the pattern is just so fun and colorful. These leggings are called the Power Hold Leggings and I actually have a few pairs of these. These are the highest compression that they have. They are moisture wicking and UPF 50 plus for sun protection. They're chaff resistant. I think that the Power Hold Legging style is my favorite because I don't have to constantly pull them up. I feel like they have me secure and they're not falling down, which is a huge plus. And of course, this is the matching bra, which I'm pretty sure is the exact same fabric of the Power Hold. This has me covered. The cups are removable and they adjust as well. This outfit is definitely in my top three favorites category. I think this uh, sports bra is really cute. This sports bra is called the Faye High Impact Sports Bra. It has breathable mesh, removable cups, and like I said, it is high impact. It's 82% nylon. These shorts are actually the Motion 365. This is the only pair of like shorts or leggings that I have in this specific fabric. And I really like it because it's very lightweight. This one is a step down in compression from the Power Hold, but it's still high compression, as you can probably tell. And it's created from a resilient nylon that helps get rid of the sweat and dry it quicker and gives you full range of motion and whatever you're doing. It honestly reminds me of like workout Barbie. I don't know, there's just something about it. Maybe it's the colors, but it's a really fun set. These shorts have a pocket in the back so you can slide your phone into the back. I thought that was an interesting spot. I personally wanna put a pocket there, but what ifs? This tank is called the Love Stay Tank. It has the side slits for mobility purposes. And I just take them like this, turn it over, and then tie right here. And now I'm wearing the Sculpt Knit Leggings. These are actually medium compression. They're stepped down from the Motion 365. And these are more recommended for training purposes. They contour and they sculpt. It almost feels like you won't be able to get them up at first, but as soon as you're able to get them up, they're really nice, very stretchy. These pink ones come with a matching sports bra, but I cannot find it. Yes, these ones are definitely see-through, so you know, do what you will with that. 
I feel like with leggings sometimes that's not a big deal, but for other people they may think that's a big deal. I think at this point, if you're just wearing underwear that are full coverage, it's really not a big deal if your leggings are see-through. I'm pretty sure these leggings are my favorite style. These are the next step down. So these are light to medium compression. These are called the Pure Lux leggings. They're the softest fabric that they have. They have a buttery soft sensation feel to them, which allows for total range of motion. I think these leggings are ideal for low impact, but if you're aiming for something a little bit more high impact, you should try to get something with a little bit more compression. But I really love how soft these leggings are. They're definitely the most comfy piece that I own. It is cold today, so I am actually going to wear this set with the pullover that it came with, if I can get my arms in it. I love this entire set. This pullover is so comfy. It's fleece, it zips down. I couldn't find the exact name of this one because this probably was at least six months ago that I got this set, um, but this shirt is so cute. I wear it with a normal bra all the time or even without a bra. I mean, you can just leave it down like this or you can pull it all the way up. If it's more of a chilly day, you need a little bit more warmth. The inside is lined with fleece. It is so cozy. And then there's also this fleece pullover, a different style, obviously. This one for me is too constricting on my neck, but I don't like things on my neck. It's not like it's tight or anything. It's a very stretchy fabric. I'm just not a fan of things like being here, but I really love this red color. I think it's really pretty. And this overall is extremely warm. This one's called the Malia Polar Fleece Pullover. It's textured from poodle yarn and it's partially recycled. So it's 70% polyester and 30% recycled polyester. This one is a top that I wear pretty regularly. I'm sure you guys have seen me actually wear this around before. I wear it a lot because it's really super cozy and soft and I wear it to bed all the time. It's like my favorite PJ shirt. Of all the items that I have worn and washed, this one has definitely been washed the most. I'm starting to feel it inside. Like I feel like you can tell there's like, you know when the fabric starts like piling up and it starts getting a little bit more scratchy? I'm starting to feel that, but I could probably take that away with a lint roller if I really wanted to. This one is called the Monica Cinch Pullover. It has an adjustable uh, cinch down here and it's a soft terry fabric. I have one more outfit with the Pure Lux leggings that I wanna show you guys. This number is so cute. I just wanted to show you guys on camera. It's the same exact material as those last leggings that I tried on. This top is definitely not high impact. This is low impact. You don't wanna be doing jumping jacks. <laughs> with this sports bra. I love all the little, you know, keyhole details in it. And then the bottoms of the leggings have like little twisties on them. And yeah, I think it's just a really fun set. Now I wanna show you an outfit that I just got the other day. This is the stinking cutest tracksuit. It gives me all the vibes of the 90s, but with a modern twist to it. It's 100% cotton. And I have to admit, at first I thought it felt really big and baggy on me, but the more I saw it in photos and in videos that I took, I realized it's actually a really cute set. Even though it's something I wouldn't typically wear, I'm really glad that I tried it because I tried a new style out and I can pull it off if I do say so myself. It also has so many hidden pockets. Like there's two pockets here, two pockets here, and there's pockets in the pants. I'm just full of compartments. So this is called the Tinsley Tank. I have it in two different colors. I have this cream color. This is just a fun neutral that pairs really well with this tracksuit actually. And I also own the maroon color. And these tanks are 100% cotton and they are ribbed in case you can tell. Um, I am not like a huge fan of these kind of tanks. I don't know what they look like on me. I mean, you guys let me know, what do you think? I've never asked anybody their thoughts on a tank like this. Um, yeah, thoughts? All right guys, let's go get comfy. These are the Becca joggers. One of my most used items for sure. They are fleece joggers with a draw cord waistband and they have pockets on the side. And these ones are just really, really comfortable. Like I wear them around the house all the time. So these ones actually are pretty dirty. I should probably run them through the wash with some bleach. All we need is one last touch. Now, this one actually came with some matching shorts, but I cannot find them right now. So we're just gonna pair these two together. I think they go together 
very cute. This one with the matching shorts is an outfit that I got in February, so I haven't used it a ton yet. I actually just washed it for the first time. Make sure you always hang dry your clothes. Just wanna make that PSA, especially when we're talking about delicate fabrics like leggings, uh, fleece, hoodies, all those things. Wash, hang dry. 65% polyester and 35% cotton, so it's extremely comfortable. So comfy, in fact, that uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night and turn on some good old television. What's your guys' favorite shows right now? Let me know in the comments below. So that is my ultimate Fabletics guide. I really hope this was helpful because now I have all those pieces I need to go and clean up, so wish me luck. I really just wanted to give you guys a better idea of Fabletics and what it's like and what it looks like on a plus size body. So if you enjoyed this video and you're still watching this video, can you just please, please, please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up. Also don't forget, make sure you go head over to my Instagram, go to my newest post. You'll see the sweepstakes information and how to enter on there. But to receive an additional entry, let me know how long you've been watching my videos and what your favorite kind of content that I make is. And I'll be sure to add you for an additional entry. Thanks for watching all the way until the end of this video. If you missed the video that I did this morning, I talk about what I eat in a week with intuitive eating. So if that's something that interests you, you can go to that video. As always, thank you for watching. Love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.